Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a bunny hop macro for CSGO. So what you want to do, is you want to head over to the macros tab right here and create a new one with this button. Then you want to give it a name. We'll call it bunny hop. Make sure default delay is ticked and have 0.017 seconds in uh, this little box here. Then you want to hit record and spam the key that you use to jump in CSGO a bunch of times. For me that's space. Don't really matter how many times you do it, just a decent number I guess. And then between every space down and space up you just want to delete the delay. So once you've done that, you'll have something that looks like this. You should have space down, space up, delay, space down, space up, delay. That should continue for all of them. Then all you want to do is go back to your mouse or keyboard, choose a key. I'm going to use uh, mouse 5. You want to click it, drop down, choose macro, drop down again to the one that we just created. And then the playback option is whilst assigned key is pressed, which means when you hold down the button, the macro is active. Hit save and open CSGO. Okay, so once you're in CSGO, just um, do a game, maybe with bots or whatever. Okay, and once you're in game, you can test it out. So I'm just going to hold down my mouse button 5. And as you can see, I am jumping perfectly every single time with no problems, there's no inconsistency. It just works 100% of the time, so that's the, it. Just does the timing for you, and then you just have to do the strafing yourself. I'm not a very good bunny hopper, so if you want to know how to be hop, don't take it from me. There's plenty of things on YouTube that will tell you how to do it, and maybe you could combine this video with those videos as well, since a macro will make it so much more easier to bunny hop. Um, but yeah, I hope this worked. I hope this helps and enjoy bunny hopping. Now I made this with Razer products and the Razer program but this will probably work with any other program that lets you put a macro on a device so if you can just kind of follow along and figure out what you have to do in your program then I'm sure it will work exactly the same. In case people are asking this 100% cannot get you a back ban. this is simply telling a button on the side of your mouse to do something it's not a hack, it's not a cheat, it's not a script. You also can't get an Overwatch ban from this because you're not going to be hitting perfect bunny hops around the map everywhere you go. You are going to fail. And besides, this is how most people bunny hop anyway. They use a macro just like this. So unless you're hitting 10 to 15 bunny hops in a row perfectly every single time, which is almost impossible without a hack, you're not going to get banned from Overwatch. Do not worry.